the struggle of trying to find a song that we like to both play in the car oh is like, no. <laughs> the fighting, the twin fight. Oh, no, I do oh. not want to run over this oh. person. Oh, I'm going, I'm going. We run over someone. Uh. <laughs> but Luke never wants to put on the music I like. I'm like, DJ, I request this song if I'm driving. And he goes, no, 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 no. I'm going to put on what I want. And then it's always some um, old Miley song. And I'm like, come on, give me something new. <laughs> When we literally have to pull over because Luke is like struggling with a song and I'm like, give me that playlist, sweetie. Okay guys, this is like our favorite song. I found it the other day. It's Zed and called Happy Now. I don't know. I'm Who living. sings it? It's just Zed. She's just like a random singer. I'm a guessing. random girl. Are you happy now? I don't know the words. To... Are you happy now? So originally we wanted to do a mukbang, but then we were like, wait, that's too boring if we're just sitting there eating. Yeah. But then we wanted to do a Q&A, but we we're like, wait, that's too boring if we're just sitting there asking questions. So we were like, why not combine both, add in a car vlog, and just be like the inventors of everything. We love creative content like Shane Dawson Who, three-part series. Like, Like, what? this is a three-in-one video. We're getting a car vlog, we are getting a mukbang. And a Q and A, like we literally invented YouTube. Like, we like, invented YouTube. Like, so let's just jump right into the Q and A. I asked you guys, like, did that little poll thing on Instagram. That is life saving, especially it for really YouTubers. Is, yes. And here we are in our damn grandma's minivan. Like, I know. other YouTubers are so bougie. They're out in LA. Like, they have their like Range Rovers and my Rolls Royce. And here we are in our little like minivan, just you know, <laughs> being soccer moms because you know how we do. That's us. Okay, so let's just dive into these questions. Give me something good. I want something juicy. Okay. For the kids. For the kids. Oh, okay. What would life be like if you were straight? Um, very um, boring and horrible. Yeah, very boring. Not fun. Not not living our full fantasy. Honestly, I was telling my friend this the other day. I love being gay, and I honestly just like love gay culture. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road, sweetie. <laughs> We're literally driving up the road to get bagels. Goodbye. Like we were talking about it in our like sugar daddy experience video. But even just going out, like everyone, chances are if you're gay, you're most likely fun. I feel like that's just a character trait of being gay. You know? Uh, uh, mm. I mean, obviously there's no, circumstances no. for everything, but. Uh, maybe. So we're actually getting bagels right now. It's nice. not even like this crazy like Trisha like McDonald's mukbang. We're literally getting a breakfast sandwiches, bagels like bacon, egg, cheese. egg, no cheese. If you know us, kind of that dairy free life. We oh. haven't gotten these in so long, so I'm like, uh, it's it's a good excuse to get the food. Exactly. Next. So where and who do you get your style inspiration from? Now that's a really um, good question because. Honestly, I was thinking about this the other day, and I live for Ricky Thompson, like, he's one of my style icons, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's just kind of our eye. I don't have a specific yeah. person, really, that, like, I go to really beside, like, I don't know. I mean, for me, my style icons are people that are, like, fearless and kind of push boundaries with fashion. Mm -hmm. So, it's a lot of, like, celebrities. Like, we always look through, like, Miley, and... Yeah, but she's not, like, my style icon. No, like, but they inspire know. me to kind of... Just step outside my yeah. box. Oh, wait, we completely forgot to mention that Harry Styles is actually one of our style kings. He's an icon and a legend. And just not care. No, but at the end of the day, it's like I really just kind of do my own thing. I just have an eye. Mm -hmm. And like whatever I'm drawn to, I just kind of come up with in my head. I don't know. Recently, it's been so cool because we really have fell in love with fashion all over again. Because yeah. I kind of feel like we, not that we lost it while we were in college, but we just we didn't have our priorities in check you know mm -hmm. fashion should always be coming first and i've been having so much fun really just experimenting and just yeah. kind of thinking outside the box when it comes to styling and clothing so hopefully one day when we have that Cooper, budget, you are the, i'm sorry you're the longest winded person ever it's like we get it okay I don't know if you guys can relate, but my thing is, once I had that coin, then my styles are really gonna be oh, popping. Oh, you know, but you could be balling on a budget like us and still yeah. look good going to the thrift stores, pulling together little True. cheap things, because you can always look expensive. Once I get that coin, it's over for you hoes. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go inside and get the food. Get the food. And we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we got the goods, so now we can start chowing down. <laughs> but we're gonna park up at the dock, yeah, so don't worry, we can don't relax. Worry. I'm Luke is like that. my assistant for the day. He's like giving me the questions to answer. Um, no, 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 no. How do you stay focused on achieving your future goals while surrounded by negative people? I love this question because I Ooh, can this go is a good on. one. Honestly, I would just say to really know your worth, know yes. your goals, and don't let anyone stop you, and have that be the main mm -hmm. 
driving. You have to have like speed. tunnel vision, you know? Yes. No matter what, there's always going to be people that are doubting you, don't believe you, and will put you down, try to be negative, but you really can't let them affect you because once you realize that you're in power of your own career, your own destiny, your own life, and all yes. the Yes! But it's true though, like as RuPaul says, other people's opinion of me are none of my business, and it's so true. If someone has a negative thought or like irrelevant people have to say something about your life, that's really none of your business, it's irrelevant. And also, as RuPaul also says, what does he say? If they ain't paying my bills, pay those bitches no mind. Unless they paying your bills, pay them bitches no mind. But it's and so it's true. just like, it's yes. Like, the most important thing to realize is other people's opinions of you is literally that, their opinion of you, and it's literally none of your business. A lot of the times, that hinders someone's success and it can hold you back because you're so concerned what other people are thinking. But at the end of the day, they're not paying your bills, so Yeah, no. exactly. Basically, you just have to ignore everyone else and keep just- Keep doing you, baby girl. Keep the eye okay. on the prize. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys, so we got our bagels. I got um, a sesame bagel with egg and bacon. Let me show you the inside. Honestly, I don't know if other people like eat this, but I literally got an egg bagel with bacon and egg. That's I think it's eggs. pretty normal. Yeah, I know, but I don't get it. Guys, look how good this looks like. Yes. Oh my god, they came through. Oh my god. No cheese up in this hoe. <laughs> Just going for bite. a bite. Ooh, it's hot. Oh. Mmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Logging out, I'm done. It's so hot and juicy. I don't know how people do those, like, Fried eggs where like it squeezes out. I feel like that's such a mess. Mm. Scrambled is the way to go. Oh, should we got like a thumbnail? I love when people like keep in like the thumbnails. Oh my gosh, Trisha always does. I die, I die. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get another question. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Um, probably existing. Just being myself. Wow, in aren't you so quirky and relatable? I'm just so quirky and relatable. Guys, we want to make sure it's hashtag quirky and relatable. Like, because we're always joking. We're like, oh my god, so quirky and relatable. Honestly, just oh. Stop covering your <laughs> mouth. People come for me because I cover my mouth when I eat. And I'm like, sorry that I have manners, okay? Like, it's like, I don't know. Like, that's I can't the whole just, point of them. I can't like, talk with my mouth open like this. Like, I'm gonna get people that do so that. So you chew with your mouth closed. You're fine. No, I know, but when I'm eating, I can't talk because then, like, you see my food and it's gross and no. I feel bad. Like, you know? You see me, I'm like, whatever, picking my teeth. <laughs> We're gonna get real nasty up in here. We were getting a few questions about, um, if we would ever do like a meet and greet or like go on tour or whatever. And my answer to that is like, we are not on that level yet. Like, no one would come to see us. So it would be not, like, us and then like our mom would be there like that's and our two friends <laughs> that's probably what it would be so maybe eventually maybe one day but i'm always like youtubers that go on tour i'm like well what do they do like you know like mm -hmm. what do you do successfully quickly but like she like just oh, did you guys see that i was living for that she like sang and like did her little co comedy act and, i like, was so happy for her i know and you guys know like we were also getting questions about like who are our favorite YouTubers, who we would collab with. We always talk about her. You guys probably know by now. She is our favorite YouTuber. We've been watching her for so long, and like I'm so proud of her. And now she's gonna go on tour. You already know we're gonna finish here on tour. All that stuff. You so know don't what? Worry. Like that would just come so full circle for us if we met her. I mean, that might be like crazy to say like, oh, I want to do a collab with her. Maybe that's like too out of reach. Mm -hmm. But even if we just met her, that'd be so surreal because. I remember just watching her like in ninth grade and mm -hmm. watching like all of her videos. But you know what that video she posted? It was inspiring. Like she was doing like the meet and greet and like the mm -hmm. whole like performance and like how she said the, her whole life she wanted to make Britney Spears a pop star. Also, I would love to collab with like James Charles or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Do like a beauty battle. But he's so huge. Like, yeah. This like, is just saying like. We're literally like not like we're like no. we're like grasping for straws here. This we're like little happen. ants compared to him. If that ever happened, that would be so cool mm -hmm. because we could do a beauty battle on his channel where we would do his makeup one side, mm -hmm. and on our channel he could do our makeup, and it'd be like really funny and like I don't know. Yeah. I feel like it'd be a great time because I feel like we got along. Because I feel like we get like his sister saying hi sisters. Do you know what I mean? Shishtar. <laughs> <laughs> Not sisters, triplets. Mm -hmm. Also, imagine collabing with Shane. Like that would be like amazing. But that's like, th no. that would literally mm -hmm. never. That's not a reality. That's like we would literally be a make a wish. You know? Maybe like, a make a wish with Shane. Yeah, guys, this is so good. I'm so like, 
I know. which you see in the bacon. Or <laughs> comment down below like mukbangers you guys like because mm -hmm. I'm all about the mukbangers, honestly. I find a lot of people through mukbangs. Like, I'll just like search them up. Oh, a lot of people were asking what made us start YouTube. Oh. What made us start YouTube was we were obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people- Oh, there's lighting on your phone. Ooh, there's lighting. Oh, it's on your phone. Oh. Move your phone, sweetie. Come on, lighting. We have seriously been such big fans of YouTube for so long. Yeah. Because we went on to YouTube to find people we can relate to and that were like kind of different like us because of course we had a lot of acquaintances growing up, but we really only had each other a lot, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So we would watch people like Joey and like Bunny and like all these different people and I was just like obsessed with it, you know? So obviously we always thought it'd be really fun to do it, but we didn't really have that confidence. We weren't looking too cute, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, we were like, oh, maybe eventually. The summer after we graduated high school, it just became like inevitable. We were like, you know what, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We kept on pushing it off. We were so obsessed with YouTube. I'm like, we should we we were just, just nervous. We were fun. nervous about what other people thought. Mm -hmm. That's really what it was. And That's what held us I back. I look back and I'm like, why would I ever think that? Like those people don't care at all. Like, you know what, like, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe they care, but I don't care about their opinions, yeah. you know, so. Like, I wish we would have started so much uh -huh. earlier. Yeah. So that's my thing. If you're thinking about doing something, whether it's starting YouTube or whether it's like go and get a certain haircut or ask that girl out on that date, just do just it because you're going to regret it if you don't do it sooner. Uh -huh. I don't think people really know this about us, but in middle school, we did like a bunch of plays and shows and we were always mm -hmm. singing, dancing and acting and we, loved doing that, we kind of like lost that and we stopped doing it and we realized that's kind of like the core of what we are. Like I feel like we were born to entertain, mm -hmm. perform, like give out content, be like make other people smile. Like. I always loved YouTube because like I would get home at the end of the mm -hmm. day and like I'd be so excited and like now you guys say that about us that we make your day that's or crazy. make you guys smile and like that's like mind boggling to me. It's crazy so. Why I love YouTube so much is I want to be able to have that ability on someone where mm -hmm. I can make them happy yeah. for like what whatever how long the video is like 10 minutes that day if I can make their day better then like that. <laughs> I've, oh my god I just burped. We're cutting that out. <laughs> if I can make someone happy, then I achieved everything. So. Guys, ready? Uh, wait for this big bite. Okay, ready? I'm gonna go. Oh my god. Is smart? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. How has life changed since you started YouTube? Oh my god. Um, Guys. Okay, well, basically, our life hasn't changed at all, really drastically. Like, you guys are acting living. like we're these huge people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um. We're like, no one's. <laughs> but I've changed so much. Paparazzi are following me. Oh my god, me. we get out of the car and, like, people are coming up to us, like, asking for autographs. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god. Like, it's just too much. It's like, too much. No, seriously, <laughs> the only thing that's changed is, like, within me, my confidence mm. has gotten so much better. Because, seriously, watching yourself back on camera, it's like an outer body experience. You, like, see things that you do. You're like, oh, I really act like that. Or, oh, I look like that. And you, like, mm -hmm fix things from there, so. You become so self-aware. I first... used to hate the sound of my own voice. Oh my God, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. But YouTube has really been able to allow myself to embarrass myself. Like I'm uh -huh. so willing to just put myself out there and I don't care what others think now. Mm -hmm. I used to be so stuck in my head and I would hold my true self back. But once you realize other people don't care about you because they're so wrapped up in their own head on what other people think about them, that's when you're like, F it. No inhibition. That's when you're so free and you're really gonna see like so much growth. We are being so inspirational today, like. Mm -hmm. Come on, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> I feel like no one says Oprah Winfrey. It's always just Oprah. Queen Oprah. Cha cha na yo. Also, side note, can we just say like I'm living for Twitter, like I'm obsessed. It's my favorite app. <laughs> Little promo, follow us on Twitter, it's down below. But seriously, I'm we obsessed like, with it. We have like no followers on there either. It's just like literally just for fun, just to like say random stuff on the top mm -hmm. of our head. I just like tweet like random stuff. Yes, bagel. Oh, yes, Long Island bagels. <laughs> mm, there's really nothing better, I'm, I'm serious. If you're on Long Island, you're in New York, you gotta get an authentic bagel, pizza, you know. Honestly, I really like doing videos like this, just sitting down, chatting, eating, because you know, every once in a while it's just like nice to like sit back and talk. So a lot of people are asking, have we ever had a crush on the same guy? And honestly, I've never even had a crush before, so I don't think that would mm. ever happen, you know? I feel like we don't really have, it's all about personal interaction for me, and we just have different interactions with people. It can't be possible because I haven't even had a crush on someone, so. <laughs> um, okay. I think we think the same people are attractive, though. Like, we can agree on that. Yeah, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably. I love how Luke's like searching for the questions. I'm just like enjoying my food. <laughs> a lot of people are asking about the how we came out to each other video. And guys, I promise it's coming. We just want to sit down and make that its own separate mm -hmm. video to really like go in depth about how we grew up, how we told each other, all that. So do yeah. not worry. 
the other day someone asked us like would you guys ever come out with your own song or whatever and honestly like not like a youtuber song <laughs> yeah probably but like i would die at that because growing up all i wanted to be was a pop star like in a boy band and like mm. dance and give a look like you already know we would go off okay? i just wanted to be britney spears and Christina Aguilera so bad growing up. And that kind of has crossover today. Now that like I know what drag is, I'm like, oh, one day we were saying, I'm like, we're gonna host a show mm -hmm. where we come out and we like do like a drag queen lip sync battle. It'd be so funny. We would go off, but I would go so hard. I'd have background dancers. And I'd oh, have my you little already know. You already know. Okay. Pop star lip syncing fantasy. <laughs> but if we had a song, I feel like we could we could spit some bars. We could we could we could spit some bars or some vocals if I try if we try. Mm -hmm. What are your guys' favorite TV series to watch? I feel like we always say this, but mm -hmm. we watch All the Housewives, Anything Bravo, Next Top Model, and Drag Race. Do you guys like being twins? That's probably a bad question, but I don't care. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, like it's all you know growing up and. I can't imagine if I wasn't a twin what I would think it was to be a twin. Like, I feel like that would be a weird concept for me. But just like having a brother that just ends up, or sister that just ends up having, looking exactly like you. Honestly, I really like being a twin. As I've gotten older, I really appreciate it because you always have that one person that gets you and you can connect with. It's literally just having a best friend, a built-in best friend. Even with our other siblings, it's just, we just get each other on a different level. It's like that trust and that loyalty that like you find in a really good You friend. can tell them anything, you know, they're not gonna backstab you. Yeah, like I'm not. not. <laughs> well, we always kind of felt. Do I have something in my teeth? Ooh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, like you see this little twin zeal. Yeah. Right. See, get yourself a twin that does that. No, growing up. Oh, got something. Oh, is it gone? No, but growing up, we always were kind of different. I hate to be like we are so different, but just from like the normal people around us, like we liked different things. We liked more feminine things, if you will, or oh. we played with doll. Like you know what I mean. So we had each other to connect with that. Guys, I literally only have like a little bit left, and this is the most depressing part of my day. It's like when the food's like almost done, and you're like, no. Like you want to have that Jimmy Neutron moment where you like regurgitate the food and you can eat it again and be all happy. What are you talking about? No. Does anyone remember? I'm gonna try to find that scene on YouTube and put it in, okay? Eating the same ice cream for hours. It's disgusting. Get out of here. You're right. Someone was like, are you excited for Miley coming next month? And oh my God, you guys have no idea. We are so excited because we're huge Miley fans. And honestly, we're probably gonna do like, a, you already know we're gonna do like a reaction video to like whatever she drops. She knows like she's about to do what she's about to do. She's honestly, gonna remind like, the other girls like what they should have did because Younger Now came out. People slept on that. That's okay. But she's not coming to play. Okay? You know, Younger Now was cute, uh -huh. but it didn't do as well as she wanted it to. So she's coming. I know she's working with Mike well again so all that's right. I feel like every day Luke's always like a new Miley update. He'll be like in the other room. He'll be like Miley's working with this producer and I'm like Okay, wait, before we even get into the next question, we need to let you guys know we actually met a lot of the season 10 queens from Drag Race. Mm -hmm. A few weeks ago, we were in Pines Fire Island, and basically that's literally like this little gay mecca, this like island where all these like gays are there, uh -huh. and we didn't even know the queens were performing that night. So it was Aquaria, Cameron Michaels, and Asia O'Hara. <laughs> And guys, like, well, we've seen Aquaria in the past before yeah. in New York City. I was like, they were so good, I was dying. But the real tea happened after, when we were just out and about, like, by some bar or whatever. And I'm walking, and then all of a sudden I just see Cameron Michaels just standing there, like, out of drag with, like, a hat on. And I was like, you know what, no, I have to say something, because you know my messy ass. And I went up to him, I'm like, oh my god, like, I live for you, you're one of my fave queens, like, you're amazing. You were so funny this night, by yeah, the way. Yeah, and then, he was just, like, very sweet and calm collected. It's but so interesting. a real funny moment happened when we met Aquaria later on. <laughs> I literally turned into Barbara Walters, something mm -hmm. came over me, because we're at a party, and I see her, or, like, my friend was, like, bring me to her, him, because he was out of drag. And I was like, you know what, like, let's just roll right now. So I went up to him, and I said something, like, I live for you. You die, die for it. But then I was like, oh, like, where did Bonjour come from? Like, are you French? And like okay, so for his entrance, he was like, bonjour. Bonjour! I don't know, it was just like funny. We, we were, were just going back and forth and like, He was so chill know. and cool. It yeah. was just awesome because Aquaria is huge. Like, yes. Like the winner, I was like, yeah, I'll stand a bit. When you look back at the footage and you're like, what is going on with my hair? <laughs> anyway, so like, OCD. I'm so OCD. Like, it's seriously like the biggest insecurity of mine. It's ugly and like, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard life. A hard, a hard knock life. You love it, 
So I was actually looking through all the questions and I was like, let's just finish it off on a juicy one. And that question was, even though you're gay, have you ever had a crush on a girl? And I was actually talking about this on Twitter the other day. Even though I'm gay and I'm obviously attracted to men, I find women more attractive. Yes. And we, we actually always discuss this. We always talked about this and I feel like this is kind of an interesting topic to talk about but growing up I've always like idolized like strong beautiful women like we love Eric's next on model. I always stand higher like I always thought she was beautiful on the inside and out. Ooh, there's some, some bumps sorry. <laughs> our driving gets into a car crash while filming. I agree with you on this of course there's some very attractive men in the world but more often than not I feel like women are just the superior gender. Like comes, I just yeah, especially when it comes to looks too. I mean, the superior gender overall. I mean, let's be real here. Yeah, like but, you <laughs> always see like uh, couples when they're older, and it's like the gorgeous woman, and she's all put together, and look at the hair and the makeup, and she just slang. And then you more often they're not. Men. They're kind of with these like older, kind of rough around the edges guys. And you're like, I think it's because a lot of times like women, they're more not high. Well, maybe hygienic, but no, they, they age more, better. They age better. There's what they can put together a look better. They know what they're doing. I think that's why I've always that's what I've always loved about women, like especially growing up. I like loved like the fantasy and the, the, yeah. the dress up because in the media, there's really no gay guys. Yeah, it's really all straight men, and it's like looked down upon to like care about like yourself and like God forbid you. That's why I say. You know, Investing in skincare is big dick energy. Like, <laughs> yes, it is. Seriously, it at that is. point. At the end of the day, the end all be all, women are just more attractive. In yeah, general. I just think that's what I, I feel like a lot of people could probably agree on that. Mm -hmm. With that being said, though, it doesn't mean I want to be up in a relationship with a woman. Oh, no, 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 no. Sexually. No, no. Of course, I, you know, there are very, plenty of hot men fish in the sea. Yes. But I'm going to be wrong. No one's going to compare to Rihanna's beauty. Like, no man is. Mm -hmm. Stunting on that, like no. No one's no. touching Beyonce. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So you know we're gay, but I still like this. You know, imagine. <laughs> That's it for today's video. Our vlog, mukbang, Q and A, triple threat. Thing. We really did it all today, it. didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, <laughs> we're home after driving. Hopefully, we weren't too boring. Honestly, hopefully, like you I'm guys like, how do people find us interesting? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, we're just like, uh, we're just annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. So <laughs> this is your time and your chance to go and well, get me in the frame, sweetie. Yeah, follow us on social media. Subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. That's, that's our new favorite app. So yeah, why not? Our app, social media. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, that's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap. <laughs> Bye.